Hey guys, another week, another game dev vlog, and this has been a busy week. Uh, I've had to do some things outside of working on Rotate that's taken a fairly significant amount of time, but I have been able to get a decent amount of stuff done on Rotate. I mostly ended up trying to implement all the levels for the game, and I did end up getting most of them except for the last level, but... Sheesh! You mind? <laughs> and the birds flew just like a couple feet in front of my face, jeez. I mostly ended up trying to implement all the levels for the game, uh, and I did get all except for the last one in. I still need to finish up some of the storytelling in the last couple ones that I did add, although I worked on that a little as well this week. So everything is coming together. Now other than working on levels and story, I didn't do a whole lot else on the game. As I said, I had to take a lot of time to do some other stuff this week. Now in working on the levels, I did do some... Um, thought about how I'm designing the puzzles for the game. At first I was having a little trouble applying the things I've learned, things I've seen people say in like various videos I've watched on designing puzzles and such. And I now think that's because I was imagining that the puzzles were based around the doors and switches, and I didn't realize that the puzzles are actually based around the player's movement. The elements in the environment, like the doors and switches, they just complement the movement puzzles in the game. So the puzzles aren't about flipping switches to open doors in the right order. It's really more about just getting from one point to another and doing anything you need to do along the way to get there. If that means flipping some switches, opening some doors, well, that's where they come in. But overall, they just complement the puzzles of the movement. They're not the focus of the puzzles. So once I started thinking of it that way, it all started to feel a little bit better. I start to feel a little more confident in my level design. Although I still feel like there's the potential for some minor touch up to some of the levels that I have been making, at least these last few. But I don't know, maybe they are good enough. I don't want to be too much of a perfectionist about this, but I do want to get it right. But anyway, considering the fact that that is the brunt of what I got done on Rotate this week, clearly it's not ready to begin the sponsorship process tomorrow, which was the early side of my goal last week. So obviously the soonest the game could possibly be ready would be some point mid this week. Uh, and most likely, honestly, to give me enough time to get things polished up would probably be next Monday. Which is fine. I would prefer to get the game released by the end of the month. And if I do start the sponsorship process next Monday, that's I believe the 26th. And that's like basically a week's work in order to get it released. Because the version of the game that I'm going to be demonstrating to potential sponsors uh, when I start that process doesn't have to be completely final, right? Like, the biggest thing it's going to be missing will be the achievements, although I'll make it very clear that there will be achievements in the game, because that clearly drives up its value a bit. And there's a couple other things that don't necessarily have to be final, like even the music doesn't have to be 100% final, they just have to be good enough tracks to represent what they're going to be, and hopefully be at a point where they wouldn't even notice that they're not final. It's just, I would want to put a little extra work into them. I could also leave a few optimizations to the game till afterward, there are a couple things I want to optimize in the world renderer, but really the game works well enough right now that it's not really that big of a deal, it's just something I'd prefer to do before release. And of course there's probably a couple other things, like minor effects and such. So basically after I start the sponsorship process, I will be working on all those things, and I think the biggest thing out of all of them will be getting the achievements in. And of course I would want to integrate it into whatever systems they have, and of course any other sites it's going to go on as well, of course with the sponsor's branding. So as long as I can get to the point where I can start the sponsorship process by next Monday, then I should have enough time to get the game released by the end of the month, and that would be optimal. Worst case, if the game does take just a little longer, and the game has to be released in the beginning of April, what difference does it really make? Now of course I'd love to be able to say that I got the game released and got paid a significant amount in the first quarter of the year, but really other than that there's no hard deadlines, it's all self-imposed. But clearly it is about time that I get done with this project. I've been working on it long enough and it's finally coming to an end. It's just this last little bit and I want to get it done as quickly as I possibly can. I also want to get it done as soon as possible, that way I can dedicate more of my time to working on Everybody Edits. So that's basically what I'll be working on this next week. 
uh, basically gonna be trying to wrap up the game and really get it to the point where I'm ready to start the sponsorship process at the latest by next Monday. And I guess I'll update you guys next Sunday on my progress and all that. So anyway, other than that, I may also be doing the change to my branding that I was talking about a couple weeks ago. I may do that at some point this week or next weekend. Um, yeah, just whenever I can fit it in. It's not like imperative. If it has to be next week, that's fine too. Uh, but I would like to see if I have time for that. Anyway, I think that is going to have to be it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe learned something, be sure to leave a like, maybe a comment, and definitely subscribe for more content from me in the near future. So yeah, I'll see you around. Goodbye. Okay,